Hey guys, it's Evan, it's July 2024, and this is Boa Breeding Tips number two, and I introduced this whole series in the video we call Boa Breeding Tips number one. Please uh, go back and watch that just so you have some context on what this uh, series is about. And also on that page, I made an offer to you about releasing a document that um, describes my, uh, completely my process for breeding true red tail boas. I'd say that humbly, it's not the way, it's just the way I've gotten mine to breed. Um, I produced a document about that several years ago. I've triangulated that success again and so I feel pretty comfortable releasing it and if I get to 750 subscribers 50 more subscribers uh, and a couple comments saying you want to see that I, I will release that for you so please like and subscribe and also comment that you want to see that or engage with me I just really enjoy that I'd like to see some more engagement in this page but uh, the tips today um, and the first one I talked about, there's only five keeper controllable factors, and I'm talking about the first keeper controllable factor today, and that is healthy, mature, sexual animals that are cycled well together. And so this is one of those things that's actually pretty hard to do as a keeper because really you can't fight development and you can't fight time and age. Uh, and those are the things that you need to have to have healthy, mature animals. So um, when we're talking BCC, five or six years old for females is probably where you need to be. Um, when uh, The males, probably four or five. Uh, there's some evidence they can breed younger, but four or five just solidly. Guys, I've raised up pairs of snakes and tried to breed them the first year where they are probably ready and not had success. And in my head, I'm like, oh, I should change all these different things. But then I don't change everything. And then the next year or the year after, I hit it successfully. That's for two reasons. One is because my animals weren't fully mature or were just marginally mature. And because they could breed doesn't mean they will breed. And two, um, that also means that there is, um, through the successive seasons of cycling your animals or applying seasonality, like I talk about them, you're getting your animals more in sync with your room and your own environmental conditions and also with each other. So um, there is something to be said about um, an animal needs to be synced to the room. Um, that's why if you move animals, it can become so uncertain sometimes um, if they're gonna breed the following year. And they also need to be syncing together. So that means that the male needs to be in sync and willing to breed during the window of opportunity. That's gonna be a tip in another video somewhere. Um, to the female. So over time, as you're raising up your boas to five or six years old, what you can start doing is applying all the seasonality that I'll be talking about in these upcoming videos to your animals starting when they're two or three or four or five and doing that with increasing intensity as they mature up to um, a sexual breeding age. And by doing that, hopefully the first time you attempt at year five or six, they're already in sync and you give yourself the best chance of um, of successful breeding so that's my tip to you is you need to have animals that are sexually a sexual pair um, I would sex your babies when you get them resex them I've raised up babies to maturity and they haven't been the right sex I would buy them from somebody that is reputable I would most likely buy them captive bred um, and I would raise take my time to raise them up you can sometimes buy adult boas uh, and be successful with them. I've done that before. I'm not saying it's absolutely impossible to do, but I'm telling you that you have to ask yourself a question. Why is somebody letting go of a snake that they've put five, six, seven, eight years into and a thousand dollars worth of feeders and five, six, seven, eight years worth of time? Um, is that just because they're getting out or is that because there's something issue with that animal? So I would just tell you, kind of evaluate those things big picture. I've only done it a couple times and they were with very reputable breeders or people that I knew locally. So um, the idea that you're just gonna go out and buy an adult wild caught true red tail boa and it's gonna breed for you is pie in the sky. So there you go. That's my uh, tip for you for the day. Take care, bye-bye.